Uh, so far, using the Indo Eye has been a pretty great experience. Um, we're able to get uh, really high quality images, the sort of thing that we would expect to get with a tower, um, but it's portable enough that we can get into a lot of tight backup spaces. Um, we work with a lot of interesting animals that have a lot of special needs, and often we have to go to them. We can't just bring them back up to the hospital. So being able to get those kinds of images, that kind of uh, recording uh, and image quality uh, portably is really, really critical for us. Uh, it also plays a really big role at our sea turtle rehabilitation facility. So again, having a piece of equipment that can go back and forth between main campus um, and our sea turtle rehab hospital is really important. Most of our sort of toolbox, if you will, for working with animals is designed to get up and go. Um, so being able to do that with a flexible endoscope now is obviously a great addition. Um, the only other option would have been to use, uh, we'll use smaller, cheaper scopes, something you buy off of eBay or Amazon, that can go where we need it to go, but obviously image quality, the ability to steer and flush and uh, use it to collect biopsies is, is much more limited. This really does uh, give us greater access to all of our collection. Um, so there are certainly animals that we would not have been able to do this with um, because the logistics of catching and moving the animal to a place where we could access it was, was, would be prohibitive. It also has a lot of potential for use in the field in terms of going and evaluating animals um, that have stranded and require recovery. Um, these are usually in uh, inaccessible places down on the beach, um, best case scenario near a parking lot, but often you know it's a bit of a hike to reach those animals. Uh, and so this is a scope that you could actually take with you and, and get images and diagnostics that you'd normally have to bring them back to a hospital to obtain.